What is it you do exactly? I was born to the forge. That's literal in this mythcast. So the hammer and tong, that's like a heartbeat. But you've a man for that already, and a good one. I'm here because of my passion for magic. Magical study, magical theory, magical enchantment, and through it, the manipulation of masterworks. I studied it all with an objective eye. No secrets, no fears. That lets me apply principles like no other. Maybe one other, but I don't have that wonky of a mind, so I still kind of win. You have the ability to make exceptional weapons and armor. Masterworks? There's an art to the forge, as well as enchanting. You need an ear for it. And hands. Eyes, too. Nothing bad to say about Herod on that front. He's, he's wonderful. But there's this little more needed. With the right bits, an edge can be more than an edge. Armor can do more than protect. A hue can be just a bit brighter. In short, smithing can be... more. <laughs> In short. <laughs> What's the story with enchanting? Lyrium is the heart. In certain rational patterns, it beats like something alive. That's how I see it. So, a mage can make your weapons do things, but with the right runes, the right rarities, your toys become wonders. It's the one thing mages can't do. It drives them mad. Literally. Dwarves are resistant, so it doesn't affect us. Mostly. Another time, Dave. Of course. Bring me what you want made, and I'll make sure it goes just right.
Inquisitor. I do not miss the tavern. He's in the Dales. He fights for the people. What people? People who need him. That is so vague as to be meaningless. Your worship. How are you doing? Good business? Building. Always building. Thanks to you. Skyhold needs a healthy flow of goods. How can I help? Free the trade routes of obstruction. Restore security to the outposts, the keeps. And the merchants will find you. We'll speak another time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Finally a place for... The horses. I forgot about the Ferelden horses. This, this is just, it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. The Grey Wardens are huge and important. You're part of that. True, but without a blight on the horizon, everything the Wardens do feels like waiting. This, the Inquisition, is what matters now. And I'm grateful to be a part of it. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. Certainly who you follow defines who you are. It's not that complicated. We're not all blessed with your quick wit. Personally, I'm glad I have any wit at all. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. 
How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. He must have wanted something from you to help like that. A pupil, a squire. Someone to teach and to mold. He saw my potential. When it was over, he offered to mentor me. To teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. Different place? I think it would have been better. But I'm older. Hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Winding road, defiant of the vile. Inquisitor? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. Can we talk about the Bulls Chargers? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? I had one noble whose rival had been told by a fortune teller that her death would come on feathered wings. The nobles sent us after the rival. Not assassination, legal and everything, but we had to wear feathers. We sewed them into shirts over our armor. You should have seen the chief, all feathered up like the cock of the walk. Ended up retreating after all that. The rival choked to death a year later on a chicken bone. We'll talk later. How's it going? I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasra. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. You can alter someone's beliefs that easily? One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page, and when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page, erase a word here and there, and your whole outlook changes. I always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. The re-educators sound horrible. Yeah, they probably do. Here's the thing, though. What happens in Orlais when you commit a crime or betray a lord? They just lop your head off. At least the Canari try to fix you. And you're a spy? Close. I am now, I suppose. But that's not how I started. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. How'd that work out for you? about as well as you'd expect. I hunted down a lot of rebels, lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashoth. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. You'd heard what the re-educators did to their prisoners. Yes, I had. I wanted them to fix me like they fixed them. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orlais, ostensibly as a Talvashoth work undercover. That's how I ended up here. That's, uh... Damn. 
You did ask. Anyway, nice talking with you. We are assembling quite the influential list of allies. We could have stopped before that black hole. There are few orders as legendary or prestigious as the Grey Wardens. They can just up and take your wares, anything. Thieves hiding behind blight. Inquisitor, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me, and I got trained to hunt the bandits near my home, in your name. I hired Voth here. Don't tell anyone, but he's a, a mage. A good one, though. Thank you for trusting me, your worship. I'll pay you back, I swear. Right. And who are you again? Oh, um, no one, your worship. Just... never mind. Ready for waiting. Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arthol and Vichelle? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. You should be one of them. But maybe not. So watch out for that. Is Red Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? Don't know. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, red is scary because... blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, right? It don't have to be so complicated. It seems like it should be more complicated than that. That's why you be bad at it and why I'm here. You don't want to play, don't play. That's simple, too. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? Gets you paid, for one. You seem happy enough about that. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your Inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they ask, or let them think they ask. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Yes, sir. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. I'd like to talk about what happened to you before we met. Before you, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant, and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Reese. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert, and he scared the mages. It started the rebellion. Seeker Lambert told me what I was. Reese couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. What can you tell me about Reese? He was a mage. He saw me when most couldn't, and he remembered. He helped me, and I watched over him. I worried Evangeline would hurt him. She was a Templar, but she didn't like hurting people. When I left, she stayed. Now she watches over him. They should have been with the rebels. Maybe they ran away together instead. Neither of them like killing. If you like, 
I could use the resources of the Inquisition to locate your friend. No. If they are alive and safe, they should stay away. The last time he saw me, he didn't want to look at me. He saw a monster. Let him forget. What did you mean when you said you killed mages? Some of the mages at the Spire wanted to die. Too sad, too scared, too much. I didn't know what I was. A ghost, I thought. Fading in the fade. When I came to them, they could see me. I used the knife to set them free. When Reese found out, he made me stop. Made me understand. There were other ways to help. I didn't know. It sounds like you didn't know what you were doing. No, I killed people. I knew. I just thought I had to. They were hurting, helpless, haunted. It was all I could do. It was wrong. I was wrong. If I start again, you or Cassandra or Cullen need to kill me. What can you tell me about Adamant Fortress? It is old, full of sadness and pain. It should be torn down. The veil is thin. We found a demon there. It had touched a man and made him real again. It scared Reese and Evangeline. The man wasn't supposed to be real. Then the demon found us. It put me back in the cupboard on the bad day. Reese and Evangeline saved me. What was the spire like when the Major Rebellion started? Dead and dying, begging and bloody. Some wanted freedom, some peace, some war. Some wanted it all to stop. Evangeline was a Templar, but she helped Reese help the others. She set them free. Adrian was a mage, but she killed mages to force the fight. She wanted blood. Reese just wanted to help, to stop people hurting. Maybe that's why he saw me. You said Seeker Lambert told you what you were. But he chants words and sees. I won't let you hurt Reese. My nose explodes, a shower of blood. Just another parasite that's wormed its way into our world, feeding off all the things you can't have. What we found at Adamant made him angry. We were the first rock rolling at the top of a mountain. He had to stop us. He killed so many. He didn't care. Cold, corrupt. So I came and killed him. If you hated Seeker Lambert, why go to the Seeker Fortress? Because he was right. I was a demon. I saw demons at Adamant. They put people in the dark, in the old hurts. I didn't want to be that. I heard the old songs of the Templars at Val Royo and followed them. If I forgot, fought, fell to felling, Templars would kill the demon. I wouldn't hurt anyone again. I'll talk to you later. Probably.
As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. You've never complained. Why would I? I chose this. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. What do you know about the Fade? A great deal, for my wandering. There are a few hard facts, but I can share what I have learned. I'd like to know more about the Breach. Simply put, it is a tear in the veil between this world and the Fade, allowing spirits to enter the world physically. Small tears occur naturally when magic weakens the veil, or when spirits cluster at an area that has seen many deaths. But your anchor, as Corypheus calls it, allows you some control over the breach. That suggests it was deliberate. I'd like to know more about the Veil. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fade. But according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. Without it, imagine if spirits entered freely. The Fade was not a place one went, but a state of nature like the wind. I don't know if I can imagine that. Try. Imagine if spirits were not a rarity, but a part of our natural world. Like a fast-flowing river. Yes, it can drown careless children, but it can also carry a merchant's goods or grind a miller's flour. That is what the world could be if the veil were not present. For better or worse. I'd like to know more about demons. The Chantry says that demons hate the natural world and seek to bring their chaos and destruction to the living. But such simplistic labels misconstrue their motivations, and in so doing, do all a great disservice. Spirits wish to join the living. And a demon is that wish gone wrong. I doubt those things pouring out of the breach wanted to join the living. Heat, maybe. Of course demons are destructive. This world is illicit and unnatural for them. They fight to gain entrance, and when the rules of this world do not mirror theirs, they lash out. Tragic, but not evil. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Mages, the Fade. But where did they come from? The Maker's first children, I think. And he let them go to God? I don't know.
I have something for you, Commander. The soldiers the Herald rescued from the Falomire arrived an hour ago. Thank the Maker. We need good news. Inquisitor. 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 No one knows who he really is. They never do. You don't understand. Fairbanks fights for us and others. He has to stay hidden. He's like Hood or Ill Ed. I received a bird. It had a note. Now I am here. You're here to train me? Ah, that is it. The Inquisitor wishes to become more than Inquisitor. Perhaps he wishes to walk in shadow, even as he is bathed in light. To save life through inflicting death. Childish notion. The profession of assassin has no time for it. There's more to it than killing? Seems pretty straightforward. It does seem that way. Let me first say he does not want to be an assassin, any more than he would wish to be a sword or a cudgel. Such are the weapons of others. They lack intent. He must become his own assassin. There is a difference. Let me next say death has nothing to do with it. Death is the payment, the byproduct. Our way is between life and death. It is a door through which he will send others. Is there a danger to this? The trite answer is that there is a danger to everything, but also a use. There is no physical cost, no corruption, only action. He means that can be off-putting. Tell me the benefits. Our way is the sudden strike that overwhelms. The leap from shadow and back. We hit where and when it hurts most. In so doing, we send a message. No others invite death so efficiently. That is what the assassin offers. I know of the Antiven Crows and the bards of the game. Are you similar? They are servants. The Inquisition did not request a servant. They asked for the means. I am a trainer, and as such, I am not tethered. Some find that freedom unsettling. That is my servant. I'm ready to start learning. He is willing. Will it always be so? There are tasks, processes, ways to train the mind and body. They require simple motion. First steps. Then we shall see what he may become.
You're the Inquisitor, hmm? Honored. Don't ruin it. Ruin it? By pretending to something you're not. If you want things just so, what I have to teach will be lost on a fool. Your people asked for an artificer. My name is Three Eyes. Let's get started. I'm ready. Let's get tinkering. I don't tinker. Grandfather's tinker. <laughs> the artificer builds for battle. We survive through detail and efficiency in equal parts. What some forget is that artifice, not artistry, sets the better snare. Save the soul for a showpiece. You don't want to love your toys so much that you're picking rivets off the field. Makers need some distance, dignity. Do you make showpieces like Varric's crossbow, Bianca? I know both names. And? He holds it too tightly. Things are things. If a trap saves your life, do you thank it or your hard work? I don't teach vanity pieces. I show you how to survive. Not yet. I'll come back to this. This is a fine fortress. It's very quiet. I wonder if you tire of quiet. I am keen, Inquisitor. I bring the Maelstrom, the Tempest. Are you interested? You've told me nothing. How can I know? Then you can sit and wait, or you can leap. They say you're in charge. I say, from where? From the thick of things? From the four? That's how you create victory. You wade in, smash a glass, make a mess, and change the battle from within. You may think you now lead, but when you're the Tempest, you're someone to follow. I'm not signing on as a Tempest just yet.
dispatch for you. What is it? See for yourself, sir. Inquisitor. If those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defences. I've got a few ideas. I've built watchtowers in the areas you recommended. Nicely done. That'll give both your refugees and our farmers some warning next time trouble pays a visit. I'll speak to the master and have weapons sent to your people at the crossroads. racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I call time. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time, I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. The last course is still set, if you'd like to try again. Whoa. Nicely done. 
fancy another race? I'll speak with you later. Nothing to report, sir. If I was a crazy demon wolf, I'd lair up in a nice cave like that one. I expect the wolves will still go after whatever you people raise here, dogs, pigeons, but no more than normal.
Indulge me, Sarah. What do you think of when I say demon? Arrows. Fine. Magister? Arrows. Not helpful, but given our history, I'll accept it. Thaumaturgy. What? Magical endeavors. Helpful wonders. Oh, arrows. <sighs> You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you. Elena says you got rid of those demon-cursed wolves. Should be safer for our farmers now. You've held up your end of our bargain, Inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with it. You said you were once Arl Eamon's stable master. Master of the mounts. Fereldans don't appreciate horses like they do in Orlais, but they knew my name in Val Royo. My horses took sick less and carried a man longer than any of those fancy prancers they've got. And now they're all yours, Inquisition. Take care of them. What can you tell me about the wilderness around here? Got some old ruins in the forest, from long before any king of Ferelden. The lakes are pretty, though when the weather's odd, you hear tell of spirits. Beyond that, my daughter Sienna set up a track just over there. Fool girl likes to race the horses. You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. You know, the Inquisition comes across horses from all over Thedas. You don't say. All right, Inquisition. I'll look to your horses myself. Never let it be said that Redcliffe gave less than the best. Just let me settle matters here and say goodbye to my wife. I'll meet you at Skyhold. Defense is up ahead. Somebody is ready for a fight.
You want to set up camp? Worth a look around, right?
Inquisitor. I think Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this. Perhaps we should search about a bit. I appreciate this, Inquisitor. Yeah, one of the rogue temples. It's over. Thank you for bringing us here.
Up ahead. That's the camp of our mysterious friends, unless I'm mistaken. I must admit, Cassandra, I've never heard of these Seekers of Truth. Why would you? They do not exist in Tevinter. But what are they? Some manner of Super Templar? Is this one of those sudden secrets like proper hygiene? Once we worked from the shadows, monitoring Templars and mages alike. Ah, that clearly worked out well. Your glibness does you no credit. The Mage Rebellion was beyond even our power to control.
the Ferelden Heartland. Ah, it's a brave new world, Dorian Parvis.
good to have commerce.